The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Gary in Los Angeles. Well, I can't believe that Christine is putting me on because she didn't let me say everything. But you know what? You're you didn't ass. stop talking. Crowd on is an ass. You know, you guys are all covering for Obama. You're all, you know, all know covering for all. Obama. How am I covering for Obama? You know damn well that he's got uh, social security numbers that belong to other people. He's got a forged birth certificate, absolutely a forgery, uh, out there on, on government servers, and you're uh, all covering for him. I'm, I'm covering for And you Obama? wonder why I rushed to get you on. Because you're not intellectually honest about who Obama really is. He's a lifetime felon. He's a criminal. I see. Okay. Yeah, collected service uh, registration backdated and fraudulent. Jerome uh-huh. Corsi on the line, everybody. Social security number. Hey, you know what? You're going to cut me off because you don't want to hear the truth. Oh, no. We want to hear everything you've got to say, Gary. Believe Absolutely, me. Absolutely, John. You could be sarcastic as you want. No, I'm you know, not being sarcastic. I want to hear this because you know what? We actually don't hear from you or people like you very often, and it's necessary because to inform the rest of the public there's what's a, going on. There's a, John, there's a media blackout. A uh, media blackout in this country. And everybody at Fox knows that Obama is a criminal, and you guys are covering for him. He has a forged birth certificate. If he had been born in Hawaii, he would have shot his birth certificate years ago. Uh-huh. Right? Uh, you like we just think Trump, you're huh? a kook, Gary, bottom line. No, I'm not a kook. Covering you're anything kook. up. You're you're selling your country out for the almighty dollar, for book deals, and for sitting on the air. Well, you know, my book deals haven't worked out that yeah. great. Yeah, John's so. not getting any, Gary. You mean the I'm book deal like Jerome Corsi got, that one? Stop, stop sniping at me, uh, you know, angry, angry, whoever. Angry, I'll do what I want to do. How's that sound? <laughs> you know, here's the thing, guys. You know, the country is, is going down on the toilet sack. Well, wait a minute. You Can you, know, how, about be, how about on my topic? I'm asking about Boehner's plan. Do you have any knowledge of it or thoughts about it? Wait a minute, John. Christine put me on, and I said, you're not going to want to talk about this. Said, oh, no, go go for it. Go for it. Well, no, you know, but I, Christine. Oh, gee, I you... wonder why, John. Oh, Christine, come on. You guys know damn well that you have, you're avoiding this issue. Fox is avo- Bill O'Reilly is lying to his viewers every day on the air. Every day he lies. He said he saw the birth certificate. Mm. All it's either that or you're a kook. Birth certificate, John. He wasn't born in Hawaii or he would have produced it. And I got a question produced- for you, Gary. How do you yeah. dial a phone in a straitjacket? Uh, you know what? Your sarcasm is, you know, is the shows that you... Well, all right. Okay. okay, then I won't be sarcastic anymore. I'll just say, you're crazy. You're, you're out crazy. of your mind. I'm you are in the lunatic country. fringe of this country. Oh, John, I'm a very normal guy who cares about the truth and the Constitution oh, right. and is sick and tired of people like you in the media. You know, there was a great tradition in the 1930s where guys stood on street corners in a sandwich board saying the end is near. Uh, you might want to take that up. Okay. You ridicule everybody that calls. Well, I'm mean, so how can I not ridicule you, Gary? Be honest. There's some intellectual honesty, John. Ridicule how about some intellectual honesty? How about a ridicule. little intellectual sanity? How, how does he have a social security number from Connecticut, John? Explain that. Okay. Yeah. Explain All right, it, John. Yeah. Tell your viewers he didn't. Got a social security <laughs> number 042 from Connecticut. Just explain that to the American people. Okay. I, I, this is on the Corsi book. I guess I should go get that. Huh? Do you know what Article 2, Section 1 says? Natural born citizen. You can't have a person with dual citizenship as President of the United States. Uh-huh. Marco Rubio is not a natural born citizen. <laughs> Bobby Jindal is not a natural born citizen. What, why not? Because they have parents who were born somewhere else? Citizens, John. What? Let's have some honesty, John. You can't answer my questions, can you, John? No, because you've got too much spittle flying out of your mouth as you scream you know, in the It's only 9.43 in the morning in Los Angeles. I know. Medication time. What is he like by 12? Well, he's, he's looking for probably, the chupacabra somewhere. <laughs> he's probably got Nurse Ratchet pouring some pills down his throat. Lester. Thank you very much. First sentence. <laughs> World Net Daily's correspondent, Dr. Jerome Corsi, <clears throat> reports that yeah, in the U.S. Uh, District uh, Court, uh, 
of the District of Columbia, a lawsuit has been filed by investigators in Ohio and Colorado concerning the President's Social Security number. Uh, second sentence. Birth certificate? He, he, he reports. No, no, I did not bring up the birth certificate. He reports that investigators Susan Daniels and John Sampson are asking why the President is using a Social Security number reserved for Connecticut applicants. And my question, did oh, hold do on, you that's know? Two sentences, uh, Lester. That, that I, I, uh, two I, sentences. I, I, and yes. my question, do you know <laughs> on any record that the president ever had a mailing address in Connecticut? <laughs> Lester, I, uh, I, I, I am. I, 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 I know there are um, faithful readers of uh, of your publication that. Despite including you. Uh, oh well, I don't know that I would necessarily mark myself down as uh, uh, an avid reader or a faithful reader. I I, I continue to be amazed, uh, Lester, that um, uh, two years after putting the president's birth certificate on the internet, um, without a hospital and without do you think a the doctor. Was born here last week? Do you think the president was born in the United States? I don't know. I'd love to get the real birth certificate, wouldn't you? Uh, I've seen the real birth certificate. I put it on the internet, and uh, I appreciate your uh, I appreciate your forthrightness on the uh, on the birth answer. Listen, thank you. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.